Amazon is the world's leading online retailer founded by Jeff Bezos. It's now also a major player in web hosting. Correct. That Amazon web hosting business is now a big, big profit contributor. But really, I think the model here is clear. They're looking to dominate almost every single retail category, certainly in the US, Europe, and they're now starting to spread their tentacles around the world. Market cap, 342.9 billion US dollars, trades on a PE of 297.8 and pays no dividends. You must buy from Amazon. Yeah, Even I in buy, South Africa. I buy from Amazon and I buy, I buy Amazon stock as well. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I mean, I think, you know, the, the story behind Amazon and, and what Jeff Bezos has done over the years is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, you know, they don't really care about their profit at all. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you can see by that PE and, you know, having a PE is a big benefit. I mean, that's, they had a great set of results last, uh, last year because now they have a PE. But um, I mean, their sales growth is just unbelievable. Like you look at you look at what they've done. Uh, you, you know, over the last five years, I think they're growing at something like uh, you know, twenty-five percent uh, sales growth. Which in the U.S. you can't find companies you can't like that. Can't argue no. with that growth. Mm. You're mm. invested in Amazon. Yep, and if you look at the share chart now, might as well. You'll see that it's trading at an all-time high, uh, and it's been an incredible performer over the years. But it's also been an incredible performer in the last like two months when it's gone up like another sixty percent or something. What's given it that recent boost? Well, it was uh, earnings related, and it was also just it coincided with a bit of a turn in the market, and then everybody started getting very excited. But the web hosting business, very profitable. So they built all this global server farms for their own business and then they started releasing it out to others. Amazon Prime, remember that's where people pay a premium annual charge which gives you free shipping on everything and it also gives you free digital downloads. They've put a lot of effort into building new distribution centers outside of major cities in the US so that they can deliver a couple more days and get stuff to you which is fresh and which you know you have to have immediately like if you've got a kid and you need nappies they can't arrive in a week's time you know you need them tomorrow morning how long have you held this one and have you made money off it yes i mean i think if you've held it for any length of time it's at all-time high so if you held it for any length of time <laughs> even you've, like you, even a few days how you've much made money? money all right all right so you've made money <laughs> no, no, but, but how much money i mean have you when when did you first buy yeah, the I mean stock we started looking at amazon probably six seven years ago when we we started doing our offshore portfolios in south africa so you've i mean been, we've included long-term holders, yeah, long holders but we're still buying for new for new money at the moment i mean like paul said is you know one of the more exciting businesses you know the Abbott and web services which is their cloud computing model which is incredibly fast growing as well and I mean we used to we used to hold Amazon and Netflix and now we've actually dumped Netflix and we're just holding Amazon because you know these days you know Amazon's delivering the digital content but uh, Netflix is now running off Amazon's uh, web services so you know the, the cloud computing that you know, basically drives Netflix is, is run by Amazon. So well, you've got we've to, got you've got two to hold it. huge fans, yeah, converts in the studio, long-time holders yeah. of the Amazon story. One additional point to note is that they've had some moderately successful forays on hardware. Remember they introduced the Kindle Reader, which is quite popular, although a lot of people use iPads or iPhones to read these days using the Kindle app. They have come up with a thing called the Echo, which is getting which is some watching. positive reviews. It's basically like a Siri type device that you put in your lounge or in your kitchen and then you talk at it and it tells you things, which sounds a bit nerdy, <laughs> but apparently they're what very... What kind of things does it tell well, you? you? I think you, that's you, what we need to ascertain. You, you, you arrive in the breakfast table and you say, uh, Echo, what is the weather going to be like today? Or, you know, what time is the bus to town go? Or, you know, what is the and share price of Amazon? And you can't have this Amazon? conversation with your family. It then speaks to you. <laughs> This thing. It's part of the thing. People yeah. speak to you. You can also oh, adjust, right. you can okay. tell it to adjust yes, the, okay. the temperature, Let's, make uh, it can hotter you bring or one? colder. Have you got one? No, no, I don't have one. Do you want one? Well, not especially, I must say. I haven't found the Siri device on the Apple particularly useful. I mean, maybe I'm like you. I don't, I'd prefer to take the data in through my eyes as or quicker than the ears. The ears is too slow. Real people. <laughs> hot yeah, or not? Right. Yeah. Speak to your children. Definitely. Hot. Oh, you said no. No, no, definitely not. No, I, <laughs> I just, I could, just I, I was trying to express more heat. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. You nearly got yourself into a mix there. Hot or not? Yeah, I think it's a must have. Remember, it's got plenty of expansion potential. It's going to sooner or later launch here in South Africa, but it has launched already in India and it's going to get access to the Chinese market probably. It's very big in Europe. Bezos is going to build this thing into the dominant retailer on the planet, which means that it'll have as big a turnover. And it's got such a long way to go. I mean, online sales is a small-ish pot. Are we going to get too hot pot. at some stage? Yes, no, definitely hot.